This right here is the most dangerous Jeep in the entire world. Entire world. I'm talking USA, Russia, everywhere. The most dangerous Jeep in the entire world. Now let me start. I'm not. I'm not a liberal. I'm not a Republican. I'm not any of that stuff. I'm just American. Just a guy who believes in common sense and just stuff that makes sense. You know, just like just like you guys back here. So let's begin. This is why this is the most dangerous Jeep in the entire world. All right. Behind the front wheel, we have a bottle of alcohol. In fact, this bottle of alcohol is 75% alcohol. I mean, have you ever drank this stuff? It tastes like shit, first of all. And second of all, it's just, it's ridiculous. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do something to make this even more dangerous. I'm going to unbuckle it in the driver's seat. Because nothing is more dangerous than having 75% alcohol in your driver's seat taking control of the wheel. We'll just leave that guy in his seat. Alright, now this right here, now this is what makes this the most dangerous Jeep in the entire world. Come here, check this out. Back here, we have a couple of extremely dangerous items. This right here is a Colt AR-15. They don't make them like this anymore. This is an old school one. Loaded magazine. Make sure not to put those too close because when they get together, things get a little crazy. Over here, have an M1 Garand. Most of you don't even know what that is. But this sucker won World War II. I got a loaded clip right here. I'm going to leave it right there. Because I'm sure when I close this door, they're going to hop in together, get a little frisky, get their America on, and make a couple little, little AR-15 babies. For the record, this is an AR-15 round, and this is an M1 Garand round. Everyone is terrified of this sucker right here when you leave it alone. But they don't know anything about his big brother. Anyways, you gotta keep them separated. They're like protons and neutrons and electrons and stuff like that. Don't let them touch. Here we have a knife. This sucker will start stabbing the shit out of you. So, I put him in here with the guns so he can kinda camouflage himself as a less dangerous item. But I know he's gonna start stabbing shit as soon as I close this door. This sucker right here better be careful. That wood grain, a wood grain finish has to be very, very careful of its delicate tips. A cigar, you don't want it. You know what I mean? That sucker with a lighter, they get a little crazy. It's like it's like a sorority girl at the first date at the frat house. You know what I mean? Don't get them too too close together. You know, they might start getting a little crunk. This stuff right here will give you cancer. In fact, people sue the shit out of these people for giving them cancer every single day and killing people. Over here we have a skateboard. Have you ever tried one of those suckers? That shit is dangerous. Last time I tried to ride one of them, almost broke my neck. And if I had, I'd have sued the shit out of this company. Over here we have a spoon and some ice cream. I'm afraid to touch that spoon. I didn't get close to spoons. Like I saw them on TV and I bought one and I got it from an infomercial once. That's as close as I got to a spoon. I didn't even bring it in here. I had someone else do it. It wasn't even me. This right here, this shit gets crazy. I heard they banned this shit in some parts of Texas. They banned ice cream. Bluebell, you couldn't even buy that shit for a while. Bluebell was killing people. Ice cream is gnarly. And people are afraid of this stuff getting together. That's a half gallon. Imagine what a gallon will do to you. Anyways, so we're going to pull a little experiment in here. Because first of all, I know this stuff is extremely dangerous when it's just chilling by itself. So I'm I'm just going to sit back and watch this witchcraft go down. Sit over here, eat my m and just chill. Because I personally don't believe anybody should own anything that was designed for the military. Such as stuff like this. Well, except for Jeeps. Because Jeeps were designed for the military. But Jeeps are cool. I mean, people roll over in them all the time. But that's not their fault. It's not their fault that they're driving a vehicle that's dangerous. M&M's? Do you know M&M's were made for the military? Almost choked. I'd have sued the shit out of this company. Who owns this thing? M&M's? Hershey's? Hershey's gonna get it if I die. I better not be allergic to chocolate either. I'm suing the shit out of these people. It's their fault that I'm eating it. Anyway, so we're gonna leave this all in here. Just stand back and watch Crazy Town go down. It's gonna be like Armageddon up in here. I'm going to Mars. When this shit gets real, World War Three, I don't play around with that stuff. All right.
This M&M game goes hard. Anyway, so we're going to leave this in here. We're going to just stand back. And we're going to see what happens. All the craziness that's about to go down. I forgot to add the most dangerous part of this vehicle. The most dangerous thing I completely forgot to even put in there. That's right. The most dangerous part of the vehicle is me. Because, I mean, let's be real. Without me, none of this stuff is going to do anything. But you better believe that I'm going to blame that shit on everybody else. Don't leave your dog in here. It's freaking hot. I don't want to sue Jeep because it killed my dog because it was too hot outside. Toodaloo, motherfuckers. See you guys.